Number 10. Midnight Runner Disaster On February the 20th of 2014, during the first day of shooting for an independent biographical film called Midnight Rider, the Greg Allman story, a devastating train accident took the life of a camera assistant. Director and producer Randall Miller and other producers had assured the cast and crew that it was safe to film on an active railroad trestle bridge high above the Altamaha River in Wayne County, Georgia. The scene involved a dream sequence in which actor William Hurt was on a heavy metal-framed hospital bed on the 110-year-old bridge. As they were filming, a train suddenly turned a corner and barreled towards them at nearly 60 miles per hour, giving those on the tracks less than a minute to clear the way. The oncoming train was nearly as wide as the trestle, and Miller yelled at everyone to run. The only escape route, however, was headed towards the train. 27-year-old camerawoman Sarah Jones struggled to save some expensive equipment, while others fruitlessly tried to remove the bed, fearing it would cause a derailment. As the train rolled through, many crew members had been left trapped on the trestle. One of them was hairstylist Joyce Gilliard, who was clinging to her girder. The train passed just inches from her body, with the pressure and wind pulling her left arm into its path. It was struck and instantly snapped with Gilliard, who ultimately survived, reporting that a piece of bone was sticking out from her sweater. Then the train obliterated the metal frame, sending shrapnel towards the crew members. Jones was hit by a fragment, which propelled her towards the train that was still moving at speed. She was killed on the spot. Miller was charged with involuntary manslaughter and criminal trespass. He agreed to a plea deal in exchange for having the charges dropped against his wife, who was also a producer on Midnight Rider. Miller served about a year of his 10-year sentence and was released on probation. Number 9. Rust Set Shooting In October of 2021, production on the American Western Rust was suspended indefinitely after a deadly gun discharge on the film set in Bonanza City, New Mexico. It occurred in the context of a general strike by the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, or IATSE Labor Union. Rust crew members, who were part of the union, had cited dissatisfaction with delayed pay, a lack of COVID prevention measures, as well as, most poignantly, poor gun safety. An official complaint read that prop guns had been unintentionally fired on three occasions, but production had failed to investigate the negligent discharges. Responsible for supervising all the weapons on set was armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who followed in the footsteps of her father, veteran industry armorer Fel Reed. It was her second film as lead armorer as she'd previously worked on another western called The Old Way. A notable incident on that set involved her discharging a firearm without warning, to which lead actor Nicolas Cage reacted by leaving the set. On October the 21st, while working on Rust, Gutierrez Reed placed three guns to be used as props on a cart, one of which was a 45 caliber antique cult revolver. While the cast was rehearsing a gunfight, assistant director Dave Halls handed the cult to Alec Baldwin, a leading actor and producer on the film. Halls announced it as a cold gun, meaning it wasn't loaded, but by his own subsequent admission, hadn't checked the barrel prior to doing so. Baldwin took what he believed to be a prop and started explaining to the crew how he planned on drawing it during the scene. Sitting behind a monitor were cinematographer Helena Hutchins, aged 42, and director Joel Souza. Baldwin took the gun out of its holster and fired a projectile that flew towards the monitor, striking Hutchins in the chest and Souza in the shoulder. Hutchins tragically succumbed to the gunshot injury while Souza recovered with the bullet removed from his clavicle being reported as a live round. An anonymous source claimed that on the day to pass the time, several crew members had taken the prop guns, including the Colt revolver, and shot beer cans with live ammunition. Before returning them after lunch, no criminal charges have yet been filed and the investigation into the shooting is ongoing, but public perception has held Gutierrez Reed responsible because the guns were in her care. Number 8. Blake Lively In December of 2017, while on set for action thriller The Rhythm Section, actress Blake Lively sustained a severely broken right hand due to an accident involving her co-star Jude Law. The character played by Lively was training to become an assassin, and one of the scenes was a no-holds-barred fight with Law, who played her mentor. During their close-quarter choreographed bout, the actress accidentally punched her co-star's elbow so hard that it turned her hand into what she described as 
party confetti. She had two surgeries and was forced to undergo physical therapy that ultimately resulted in production being delayed for several months. Her recovery time has actually fused into the film, with producers including the scene in which her character sustained a cut to her hand so that Lively could continue wearing her bandages during shooting. Number 7. Kristen Chenoweth In July of 2012, as actress Kristen Chenoweth joined the fourth season of The Good Wife, she suffered an accident while on location in Brooklyn. A strong gust of wind knocked over scaffolding that was being used to support a lighting silk. 44-year-old Chenoweth, who played a political reporter on the successful series, was directly in the path of the collapsing structure. She was struck and, according to a witness, was knocked out cold. CBS Television Studios released a statement about the incident, reporting that she was treated by the show's doctor prior to being taken to a hospital on a stretcher by a team from the New York Fire Department. In addition to a skull fracture, Chenoweth suffered damage to her rib, hip, and neck. Even though she recovered, it was the latter injury that has left her with chronic pain for many years since the accident. Number 6. Joe Manganiello Due to a film set accident, actor Joe Manganiello was forced to finish shooting on the 2015 film Magic Mike XXL with only one healthy arm. The film depicted the lives of male exotic dancers and in the third act, each of the performers had their own routine. Manganiello, then in his late 30s, had to lift a woman in a type of swing then pull himself up by the strength of his arms alone and gyrate on her. Even though the choreography had been rehearsed, on the first take of his finale routine, Manganiello tore a bicep. The actor reported in a subsequent interview that the ripped muscle stayed in place instead of snapping up into his shoulder, as it's the case with such injuries. It was for that reason that, although he was in excruciating pain, Manganiello maintained his composure and continued filming for another four hours. He powered through scenes in which he carried the woman up some stairs and executed an acrobatic routine on monkey bars. The further stress he placed on the damaged muscle resulted in him needing immediate surgery upon his return to Los Angeles. Number 5. Reese Witherspoon While shooting their comedy Hot Pursuit, Sofia Vergara sent her co-star Reese Witherspoon to the hospital after the pair had gotten too intense during a fight scene. Vergara would report in a subsequent interview that 39-year-old Witherspoon had requested that she push her harder for the added realism, while initially expressing reservations. The actress best known for her role on the hit series Modern Family obliged. Witherspoon would later confirm that she'd been the one to demand the added intensity. During the scene, Vergara pushed her co-star so hard that she would later be rushed to the hospital, thinking she'd suffered a burst appendix. Fortunately, Witherspoon recovered without lasting effects, while Vergara would jokingly claim in an interview, I popped her ovary. Number 4. Viggo Mortensen In the early 2000s, while filming the second installment in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, entitled The Two Towers, actor Viggo Mortensen sustained a serious injury to his foot. Mortensen's character, Aragorn, and his companions had arrived to the aftermath of a battle. The scene required the actor to kick a helmet in order to express his dismay at the sight of the slaughter. It was filmed several times as director Peter Jackson hoped to get a shot of the prop flying close to the camera. On the fifth and final take, Mortensen screamed out in agony and dropped to his knees, perfectly capturing his character's emotions. The since iconic scene made it into the final cut of the movie. There was, however, an added element of realism that emerged afterwards as Mortensen's reaction was born out of authentic physical pain. The force of his kick combined with the weight of the helmet had left the actor with two broken toes. Number 3. George Clooney In 2005, while on the set of Syriana, a film that earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, George Clooney suffered a horrific injury that's plagued him for years since. During the film's infamous torture scene, a stunt involved someone kicking over the chair in which Clooney was sitting. Something went wrong and the actor suffered tears in his dura mater, a wrap around the spine that holds in spinal fluid. As his condition rapidly degenerated, the fluid actually started coming out his nose. For weeks, Clooney was treated with injections in his spine and potent painkillers that didn't agree with him, causing him to suffer from stomach problems and crippling anxiety. He could barely move and his headaches were so severe 
that the actor likened them to having a stroke. Clooney was in such overwhelming pain that by his own admission, he'd contemplated taking his own life. He consulted a pain management therapist who taught him to embrace a harsh truth. You can't mourn for how you used to feel because you're never going to feel that way again. In 2014, nearly a decade since the incident, Clooney was still struggling with back pain for which he reportedly sought the help of a specialist in Germany. Today's topic was requested by Tots Magellan. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Conway Wycliffe In 2008, on the set of Christopher Nolan's critically acclaimed Batman sequel, The Dark Knight, in Chertsey, England, a stunt technician was killed following a car crash. The crew was test filming for a scene in which the Batmobile exploded. 41-year-old Conway Wycliffe, originally from New Zealand, was in the back seat of a Nissan 4x4. Wycliffe was leaning out a window while operating a camera and shooting a stunt car, traveling parallel to the Nissan, driven by special effects technician Bruce Munro Armstrong. As the latter approached the end of his run, he failed to make a 90-degree turn, went on the grass, and crashed into a tree at around 20 miles per hour. Wycliffe sustained critical injuries in the collision and was pronounced dead at the scene. Number 1. Sylvester Stallone and Michael B. Jordan While filming for Rocky IV in the late 1980s, Sylvester Stallone was sent to the ICU for over a week after a physical scene with co-star Dolph Lundgren went wrong. Stallone, who'd written, directed and starred in the film, was reportedly encouraging Lundgren to hit him harder. The Swedish actor did so and after the third take, Stallone felt a burning in his chest. Later that night, he struggled to breathe and was rushed to the emergency room. As Stallone would explain it, Lundgren had struck him in the chest so hard that his breastbone was compressing his heart, which had become swollen and prevented him from breathing properly. Roughly three decades later, during filming for Creed, a spin-off taking place in the Rocky universe, there was a passing of the torch with regards to on-set accidents. Actor Michael B. Jordan was playing the titular character, who was the son of Rocky's friend and former boxing rival. Jordan was filming a scene with his co-star, real-life professional boxer Tony Bellew, Stallone, who, as Rocky was Creed's mentor in the movie, was trying to orchestrate a slow-motion shot, in which Jordan absorbed a punch from Bellow. On the first take, the latter's glove got in the way of the camera. On the next try, however, Jordan turned into Bellow's very real hook and was knocked out cold. Stallone later uploaded a clip which earned millions of views of Jordan getting floored on Twitter praising his courage for getting up and continuing filming. In a subsequent interview, Jordan would report that he'd felt like he'd been in a car crash for several days after the punch. Thanks for watching. What would a movie about your life be titled? Let us know in the comments section below.